So we got our new base body with the usable topology and UV maps that we like, but you probably noticed that when we Z-remeshed our body for more usable topology, we actually lost a lot of that beautiful high-level detail in the process, which kind of sucks. But thankfully, there's a very easy fix. All you gotta do is grab the original model with all the detail, look at how many subdivision levels it has, make sure the high-poly body is on the high-poly subdivision. Mine has five. Then go back to your new low-poly uv model, give it the same number of subdivision levels, then while while you have the low poly body selected, make sure the high poly version is visible. And on the right side, under project, go down and project all. Bam. Now our new uv version of the body has all of the beautiful features that the original high poly model had. Now sometimes you might get these weird glitches when you do this, and if this happens, all that means is instead of projecting straight from the highest subdivision level, you gotta start at the bottom and work your way up one at a time. So go to level 1, project, level 2, project, level three, project, all the way to the top, and the glitches should be fixed. Now, if you're wondering about the difference between sculpting in ZBrush and sculpting in Blender, then basically, in Blender, when you subdivide something, it's just mathematically increasing the number of polygons to make it smoother. But in ZBrush, when you subdivide, each subdivision has its own memory data. So for example, we baked all of the high poly data to our fifth subdivision level, and we can go back down to our first subdivision if we want, make any adjustments, and when we go back to the fifth, all of our high level detail is still there. However, in Blender, you would never be able to get this kind of detail for the finger cords and tendons by just using simple subdivision. It would just look really smooth, and if you ever went back to the first subdivision, you would lose all the detail from your high subdivision. Okay, so now that our low poly has our high poly details that we can bake into it, something that I like to do is add some really basic skin pores, and the easiest way to do that is to go to your high subdivision level. I'm just gonna add one more for level six, now it is good practice to store morph targets before you do anything, just in case you want to revert some of the details to before we added skin pores. Go down under surface, noise, add texture, pick whatever skin alpha you want. I'm just going to use this one from Jay Hill because his work is legit. And scale it up until you have the details at the size you think looks best. In a super realistic project, it's good to understand that the face and the body usually have slightly different types of skin pores, but in my project, I don't really expect the player to be able to see the character that close. So we're just going to give the whole body a roughly even type of basic skin texture and if everything looks good you just hit apply now even though i don't plan for the players to really notice the details something that i found really helps when i am doing the skin texture process is to have some very basic lip details so i usually get some of the lip alphas from todor nikolai i mask out the lips i turn the brush type to drag rectangle set the alphas to the lip texture and just left click drag to get some of the really basic lip wrinkles now when you do this you'll notice the lips actually get a little bigger as you drag select and the easiest way i know to fix that is when you are adding the details go back to the original face's lowest subdivision and project the shape the way we normally do. This way we can keep the original lip size the same, but we still get all the new details that we want. I do the same exact process for the top of the lips, and we're done. Now our model has all the topology that it needs for animations, it has the UVs that we'll need for the texture maps, and it has the high poly features baked into it with skin details for the body, face, and lips. Again, you can spend more time to add as much detail as you want, but this is about as much detail as I'm personally going to need for my project. So if you join me next video, I will show you how to paint skin colors to your character. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.